<laughs> hello, Rowan. Yeah, hello, YouTubers. Hello, world. We're February now. Wonderful. Winter's nearly gone. So they say. So, today, a quickie, because I've got a very, very, very important announcement. I'm pregnant. Um, before we get to the announcement, I'm going to get to some of the stuff that I didn't get to on Sunday. Um, the less of any explanation as to what happened on Sunday, the better. But uh, the broken bits of furniture uh, have been skipped. Not a happy bunny. Um, we'll do the care in the community before we get to the announcement. Uh, firstly, with Wesley Snow, and I started this on, on Sunday. I mean, I don't want you looking at my videos like this. Uh, I was going to do a, a live tonight, but... Things have happened that I want to do a video today. Um, I've had some wonderful communications. I've had some wonderful offers from um, varying people. One who's a dear friend of mine, who's going to work with me in putting videos and, and stuff up. Jono! Um, eventually, because I want to improve this. I don't want it to be just about Alex Belfield, but today it has to be because there's an important announcement coming. So. If you don't want to listen to it, you don't want to hear it. If you're a Belfidian and it's going to upset you, off you go. Take both of your IQ points with you. But if you want to know a fact, a fact, a fact, stay here. So Wesley Snow, Adrian, you're an Aquarian. Of course you are. So am I. I'm so smiling, so big. Things just fell into place. Why is this guy so relaxed and cool? Because he's an Aquarian. Do you know there are more genii born between January 20th and 30th than any other time of the year? I was born on the same day as Mozart. Well, not exactly the same day, the same date. If it was the same day, I'd be making medical history. Uh, Maciek, here comes the radio phone-ins. Knew it. Can't wait. Happy birthday, AA. Thank you, uh, Maciek. Really do appreciate it. And hopefully... I've pronounced your name correctly. Kathy Stead commented, Adrian, you need to stop with the Alex Belfield stuff. I'm not a fan of myself, but you're hanging on in desperation to be famous. Oh, Kathy, I do feel sorry for you. I mean, I hope that both of your IQ points are working in tandem together for you to be able to understand this. Where I came from was phone-ins. Speech radio, whether it be for commercial radio stations, LBC, Century, Real, all across the UK, I came from doing late night and lunchtime phone-ins. Speaking with the man and woman on the street, finding their opinions and having them tell their stories to me and the people that were listening to my radio shows in their hundreds of thousands. Alex Belfield was the little greeble through the glass. All he had to do was answer the telephones. Alex Belfield worked for me. The managing director of one of the stations asked me whether we should keep him or bin him. And because I felt sorry for him, I said, let's just keep him and um, he can just answer my phones. So please, I don't need fame. I've had infamy. I've had GCHQ listening to my phone-ins in South Wales. I've had the BBC and other organisations, including Alex Jones from America, monitoring AdrianAllen.com. I have had governments try to squash me. I've had death threats. I've had people wanting to break my knees. So little Alex, he's in jail for what he did. As far as me wanting to be famous... Give your head a wobble. Adrian, have you looked at Company's house? How can he stay? He's got no money. It's beyond me. Unless there's another Alex Belfield. No, that's the right one. £292,000 sitting there. Unless, I think at the end of quarter one, there might be a, another submission. Um, so there's loads of money sloshing about. This is the money that he said he didn't have to defend himself for his day in court against the BBC and Nottinghamshire Police. I know. Um, Rufus, oh, it's a witch hunt. Very easy to see. Rufus, you should have gone to Specsavers. It's not a witch hunt at all. This is Alex Belfield being made responsible for his actions. 
Now, I've said this before and I've said it many times. He made people smile during lockdown. Good on him. Brilliant. Wonderful. Entertaining people is a, is a marvellous, marvellous thing, especially when, as a collective, we were all struggling during lockdown. But I'll remind you of this, Rufus. You were one of the millions that got taken in by the politicians. They told you originally it was only going to be five weeks. And two years later, you're still wearing a mask. Gimp. Lee Ruby, we're going to have to put Harry Henry on a different video. Well, I agree, Lee. Alex is a convicted stalker. The 1,400 videos he deleted before the court case. So he could be charged with tampering with court evidence. Should get a few more years of proved. Uh, interesting concept, Lee. I think you'll find he had over 12,000 videos before he went into the court case, into the, into the court and the trial. And now that he's in jail, he's killed over 6,000 videos that were on YouTube. Why? Only he will know. But we can guess. Welsh lady, it will be interesting to hear what Alex has to say about you when he gets out. Well, Welsh lady. Let me tell you, he tells Anna Breen, he looks up to me. And there's uh, Penny Rabbit, I think it is. Um, she did some digging on a website and there's Alex Belfield naming me as one of his heroes. Go and watch Penny's videos. It's all there, metaphorically in black and white. Roland Riman. Adrian, I'm glad I never subscribed to his channel. He took everyone for a ride. People are obviously, those that are harder thinking, Cheers, Scotty. They're not. And Scotty McClue's subscribed to the channel. He's probably watching this. Hey, Colin, you're wrong. Um, he took everyone for a ride. So there's £292,000 in his bank account or in Champagne Sippers' bank account. What happened to the bank account for the previous company? Where did all that money go? There is a very murky place to be investigated as far as money is concerned. So if he didn't have enough money to defend himself and there's 292 grand in a bank account, one bank account, where's the money gone? Show me the money. Alison, carry on being you, Adrian. There's a turn off button if they don't like watching. Have a good holiday. Oh, Alison, holiday was amazing. I, I will say that the Swiss skiing is just beautiful. Uh, uh, cloisters, cloisters, however you pronounce it. They do say that the posh in Switzerland say cloisters. Uh, the locals, Klausters. And it's beautiful. The snow was amazing. Never skied better in my life. Loved it. Um, had some great experiences with my fiance Alison. Uh, we're getting married in August this year. So if you're wondering what I'm up to in the background, I don't know whether you've been married before, but organising a wedding is just... Honestly, I've had some stressful things in my life, but as a grown man, organising a wedding and a honeymoon... Got to be one of the stressful, most stressful things in a man's life or a woman's life. I mean, God, you've got to have all your bridesmaids colour coordinated and the stuff and the stuff. And then when you put the W word in front of everything, people go, oh, we'll treble our price. I mean, who'd get married? Thank you, Alison. Michael Nixon, coal tail, coat tail rider. Now who's obsessed? Michael, man, will you just listen to what I'm saying to you? I'm not riding on anybody else's coattails. And my audio from my radio days, which I'm going to put on this channel, you will be able to hear that I was saying things that came out of Alex Belfield's mouth 20 years before you found it on YouTube. 1989, I started this game. It's not coattail rider. Ask Alex Belfield, because he'll tell you. My phone up. My phone up. And as much as he tried to be me, he can never be me, because he's not me. And I will just keep doing what I do, what I've always done, because it's me. Don't you get that? It's just me. Not him. Penny Bunny's channel. She was talking about Alex Belfield sending a funeral wreath to a rival radio show. He nicked that as well. 
he got that from America. He went across to, might have been Vegas, but I remember him coming back and telling me, and he laughed uproariously when he told me that, uh, was it uh, Howard Stern, possibly, had sent a wreath to another radio station when Howard Stern was like number one in the market, and he just sent them a wreath. So he didn't get it. That's not original. Alex just nicked everybody else's stuff. And then, because he was kind of new on YouTube in lockdown, everybody believed that he was an original. No. Um, I think we'll get to uh, a couple of comments. That's kind of my care in the community. Just bits and pieces I wanted to get, wanted to get rid of. I mean, it's like... Um, Somebody said to me, Adrian, oh, having you back on YouTube, it's like the good old days. You know the good old days when your mum used to sell Avon? Not pictures of a Mary Hinge on OnlyFans? I said, oh, I agree. And uh, there's lots of things that have gone on in the news that I I've missed because I haven't been able to, to do anything. One of them, uh, we must pay homage to Pele, who sadly passed away. I mean, you could say Pele, stiff at last what he would have wanted so this news this news about Alex Belfield it can be only about Alex Belfield and this is from an impeccable source the horse's mouth doesn't get any better doesn't get any closer and you literally cannot refute this his appeal has been rejected do you need me to tell you that again Alex Belfield's appeal has been rejected. Now, I'm not quite sure where, I'm not a barrister, I'm not a, a legal eagle, but I am just telling you from the horse's mouth, the appeal has been rejected. He can't appeal his sentence, has to serve it. And this is before it gets to a panel of three, so it must have been the initial hearing judge who's gone, no, no. And rejected it. Now, as I said to any of Alex's hangers on, I told Alex, and this is me being compassionate, I told Alex to do his time. He had a chance to defend himself in a court of law and didn't. He thought he was clever enough to get away with it himself. All he did was ask one of the victims, What's the definition of a caring, understanding 90s type? In a high court, you're mucking about. Do your time, Alex. Do your time. Now, all your hangers-on who tell you that they are your friends, this is from me. You know who I am, and you know the relationship that I've had. Drop the hangers-on. Drop them. Because they're going to do you no good at all. Forget the appeal. Forget it. Do your time. Get your head down. Not arse up, because you know what will happen to you inside if you do that. Just reflect on where you are and why. If you do and have looked up to me, take this wisdom, please. Do your time and get out. There's weighty Katie Hopkins. Notice how she's not broadcast anything about her visit to Alex in jail up in Rutland. Blimey, she's probably got a nosebleed north of Watford. Why is that then? Because you would have thought the first thing she would come out is, oh, it's like being on a cruise. No, it's not. Prison's a punishment. She's been silenced. Why isn't she saying anything? Why? Now, either Alex has asked her or someone's told her. Best thing to do now, radio silence for two and a half years. By which point, and I will tell you this, this game will have changed beyond all recognition. AI, artificial intelligence. Google that second engineer who came out and said, we've got sentient AI. If you don't know what that means, Google it. I'm being ironic. So AI is changing the game. If you've heard of ChatGPT, you know the game now. So by the time Alex comes out, this whole thing, even doing live stuff will have changed. He might give it a go, but you'll find society and the game has changed completely. And I also noticed that none of Alex's acolytes are saying anything. No one. 
No one's coming out of the out of his website. No one. So let me tell you this. Opinions are like arseholes. Everyone's got one. You can put your opinions on this video as much as you want. But you've never even met Alex Belfield. I know much, much more than you can ever imagine. Much, much more. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But I told you at the very first video that Alex Belfield was an, in a whole world of pain. Whole world of pain. And he was trying to be clever, thinking he could get out of it. Now he knows. Now he knows. And don't liken him to Andrew Tate or Freedom Fighters. He's not. He made a mistake. Lots of them. And got punished for it. I do hope that he gets the help that he needs. Not money sent to him in jail. My name's Adrian Allen. Please share this video. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, but most of all, your indulgence. And I'll see you in the next video.